Hey, 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 I am here. It's Friday morning and it's time for the No Fear Video live show. This one is a No Fear Video show with friends. If you are watching the replay of this show, welcome. Uh, I am very excited that we have a lot of people here live, but I also realize that some of you might be watching this um, as a rerun later on or maybe even on YouTube. So um, welcome to everybody who's here. Um, I'm excited to introduce introduce you to five friends today and not just five friends but these are five people that I have met in real life which to me is amazing because on social media there's so many connections that you make all the time and there are people from all over the world I've met people that live in Europe and Australia but you don't always get to meet people in real life so today by accident all five of my guests that are coming I have met in real life and I am so excited to introduce you to my friends and I'm gonna just give you the lineup um, while we uh, wait and and we're gonna get Sharon in first um, Sharon Washington is my first guest um, so Sharon lives in Maryland then we have Sean Smith he's gonna join us from Canada, which um, I visited um, in May, which was super exciting to meet Sean. We've been connected for five years before I met him in real life. Then we're going to be joined by Heather Michael Gard. She's one of my besties. I'm so excited to have her come on. She lives in Virginia. She's in my mastermind. We have met I don't know, three, four or five times. Um, so that's awesome. And I saw Heather's here. So uh, yes, I'm excited. She's already here. Jeff, hi Jeff, you're here. Um, then we're going to shift to Massachusetts. Brandy Sales, he's an award-winning video producer and video coach. He's going to be on and giving his, his um, you know, two cents worth of expertise. And then last but not least, we have Mike Gingrich um, from Pennsylvania joining us. So it's going to be um, an amazing amazing lineup today. So if you're here watching, hey Naomi, you're here too. Um, I'm just excited for everybody to be here. So let me check in and see if um, uh, Sharon is here yet. I don't see her yet. So um, today the question of the day, uh, hey Heather and Naomi know each other. That's awesome. You're here together. Um, the question that I'm going to ask all of the experts today is going to be give me your number one tip on how to get started on video. Whatever it is that maybe was your stumbling block or what you see other people have a stumbling block, what can you give them to get past that and move forward? What is your number one tip? So that's what this video um, will be all about and I can't wait to hear from my expert as they come in. So it's um, it's exciting. Of course, I will be putting in my two cents. Um, I see and I work with a lot of small business owners who a lot of them do understand the importance of video and using video over video marketing. However, they don't always want themselves to be on video. So how how do you get started with video? How What was your journey like? And what can you tell somebody that is thinking about getting started on that journey? So that's the question I'll be asking my experts. So I am super excited for this lineup. Um, let me go ahead and, because um, I don't see Sharon here, let me go tag Sharon and see if she's on her way. And then, oh, she's here. There you go. I was waiting for you to tell me that you were here. Um, she lives in Maryland, is a marketing historian. She's a marketing and communication professional who has imparted her wisdom and expertise for nearly 20 years. I can hear you. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay. I'm here. Okay. So I was asking you, have you seen a lot of changes in 20 years of marketing? Absolutely. Well, social media, of course. Um, I was taught on traditional marketing. So cold calling and direct mail was definitely important. And incidentally, I hated cold. Like, if, I, if, I, could, <laughs> if I could get I it. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Call it was the Let's word. Let's talk about the impact of video. Um, oh, I know that uh -oh. you, I, can you hear me? Yes. Impact of video. I know okay. that you go live almost yes. every day. Yes. Right? Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. And then the question is, what is your number one tip for people who want to get started with video? Okay. So go I go, I go live 
every day, almost every day. Um, I've, I've narrowed it down to two days a week because of time. But if I could, every day there's a an, an thing I want to talk about. But okay, so the number one thing I tell people that are apprehensive about getting started with video is keep it simple. My mantra is keep it simple and I believe in the keep it simple and how you do that is just um, create three points that you want to cover in your life three points don't go any further out of that spectrum three points and cover those three points it's going to do a couple of things the first thing it's going to do is going to keep you on schedule so as you're going and I have three points right here like here's what I want to talk about right um, it's going to keep you on schedule keep you um in on track with what you want to talk about so that you're able to um relay some type of coherent information and not be all over the place i'm a woman me and my friends we talk in choppy spaces so that's not going to work in live video because you want people to follow you so start with three points and start and and um uh, remember that it keeps you on schedule. The second thing, it's going to have you maintain the attention of your audience member. So as you're on track and you're keeping um, on point and, and to your three points, your audience member is going to be able to follow you and maintain the attention. That way they won't tune out and you won't feel like you're talking to yourself. Because I know sometimes sure. we, we look at that little live button, right, Dorian? And we're like, yeah, it's like oh. how many people are here? <laughs> are they doing anything? You, sometimes you've got to do things like, you know, have little prompts and yeah. things like that. And it's like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, what are they doing? Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, you're, you're breaking up. Uh-oh. Say it again, Dorian, one more time. Say anything. You're good. Anxiety, okay. Go. Okay. So anxiety. So it eases anxiety, and that way you won't get on here and you're all nervous. I don't know what I'm talking about. I teach public speaking. I'm a professor also, if you don't know. Um, and I teach public speaking, and I tell people that if you know what you're talking about, it's easy to flow, and then it takes away that anxiety because we're up here, we're feeling really creepy, right? Because we're talking at a screen, um, and usually sometimes when we're up here talking, we do a lot less engagement. I try to pull people in. So, Sharon, that was awesome. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Um, I love your points, and I think the three points going in prepared with three things to talk about. Um, keeping it simple is awesome for somebody that might be hesitant about getting started with video. Absolutely. So I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Sure. I'm going to say goodbye to you and I will see you in October real quick. Tell people real quick about your event. Oh, market simple. It's a summit for people who um, execute their marketing. So whether it's a company or it's for yourself, you need to be there like none other. There's workshops. Um, there's Dorian with the VIP about Canva. Um, so definitely check out uh, www.imarketsimple.com. Um, check it out and connect with me right now. If we're not connected, let's connect. Um, next up, we've got Sean Smith. Sean and I have been connected online for four or five years. Um, and then this year in May, I flew to Victoria, uh, to Vancouver Island, Victoria, and for social media camp as a speaker. And I got to meet Sean. I'm going to invite Sean in. And um, I'm going to ask him the same question. There he is. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a face for radio. All right, awesome. I'm going to introduce you real quick, and then we can get going. So Sean Smith is a social media educator based in Canada. He teaches social media to parents, teachers, and teens. I love it. Okay, Sean, let's get to the question, okay? So what is your number one tip? to get started on video for somebody either who has never made a video or somebody who's hesitant about creating more videos or somebody who just needs that little push to just, you know, get a strategy together and do it. What is your number one tip? You know, the very first thing that I tell anybody that wants to get into the social media space, let alone just the, the, the space of, of video, is find your passion. 
the the thing that is probably one of the 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 most important pieces is being able to speak about something that you're passionate about now certainly with with my passion of educating students teachers and teens on on how to use social media that's something i'm passionate about that i can literally speak hours upon hours and i have spoken hours upon hours about but if you have that passion yeah the, the, the microphone, the, uh, the the type of camera that you're using, those are all kind of pieces that you need in order to bring that passion out and make it look great. But if you look dull on screen and you look dull in, in your commentary, you're not going to get that audience that you want. And out there, out there online, out there in this big internet space that we have, there are people that share your passion. And, and they are interested in what you have to say. So, I mean, you, you could be passionate about Star Wars and talk about Star Wars for hours or talk about RC or beer. It doesn't really matter. My God, I got a lot of crap on my desk. The, the fact is that with that passion, you are going to get that audience and, and you're going to feel more comfortable speaking online. That is awesome i love it sharon says i love it and heather says i want to go to social media camp next year so i highly uh, recommend it yeah. <laughs> I, I highly recommend it <laughs> okay yeah because you've got your 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 t-shirt on uh sean we're gonna wrap it up i'm gonna invite heather in thank you so much for being part of the no fear video live show i appreciate you getting up really early three hours earlier 7 a.m uh three, you, three wrong, hours I, it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Let's see if we can get Heather in next. This is so exciting. I just love that this is all working out. Look, there she is. It's like boom, boom. Oh, you look so pretty. How are you, Heather? Good. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. So thanks for, thanks for coming on. Um, you and I met, when did we met in real like at Social Boom, right? In 2015? Yeah. Chicago, 2015. Okay. And I don't, yeah, we've seen each other two or three times. Yeah. So the question that is go, that I'm asking all the experts, um, social media experts today is what is your number one tip to getting started with video? Whether it's somebody that has never done a video or somebody who's hesitant about doing video or um, they might just not be confident. What is your number one tip? So my number one tip is say yes. I'm in that place where I'm still in that fear factor. You know, what do I talk about? I've got to make sure my hair is done, the lighting's right. Um, what will people think? What will people say? And um, my number one tip is just say yes to people like yourself, to people like my friend Jen Cole, who's doing lives every day, you know, people like Sharon who are going live every day. If they ask you to be on their show or to go live with them, say yes and do it and practice. Then that will help you feel more confident and more secure so that if you do decide to go live yourself, be either on your personal page or on your business page, you have that practice. Um, so I think it's just, it's breaking through that, that fear factor and, and being uncomfortable and just saying yes. That's awesome. I just realized I forgot to read your introduction. So I'm going to do that right now so people know who okay. you are. I know who you are. I got so excited that you're here. Um, so Heather Michael Gard. Heather is the owner of Social Moxie. Social Moxie is a social media company that helps businesses cut through the noise of online chatter and directs them on where best to put their time and resources. Oh, I did have one other tip I wanted to share. Um, and that is practice in a small group on Facebook with like people you trust. Uh, Doreen and I did that in our mastermind and we would uh, practice going live in, in just a private group so that, you know, only those people in the group can see you. That's a great way to get used to hearing your voice, get used to seeing your face online and, and practice before going live because it, it can be a bit overwhelming and scary. Well, I'll just say, hi. Um, I, hey, I, I'm Brandy Sales. I'm a video expert and video coach. I'm located in Boston, Massachusetts, and I typically work with nonprofit agencies and business coaches and their clients. Um, the other piece of my business is I do a lot of teaching. I've actually taught people how to do video production from the ages of six years old to 
So when people tell me I want to do video, I, I usually say, I can absolutely teach you how to do it and make sure that you do it well because I've taught people from six years old to 92 years old how to do successful video. And Dorian, you're back. I am back and I just reset my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go back on Wi-Fi and see if that works. Okay. Cool. So let me go. I can hear you. What is the number one tip you can give people to get started with video? Somebody who might never have done a video or somebody who's hesitant, somebody who's done one and just had a bad experience. So my, my number one tip, um, and, and I've heard what everyone else has said, is to practice. And a lot of my clients will hear me say practice like a pro. And I basically go through everything that I do to practice as well. Um, but really, it comes down to practicing and, you know, taking that idea that you have, whether it's a Facebook Live or it's a recorded video, taking that idea and just idea so it can go from concept to reality. Now, I personally use a system to bring it from concept to reality. I'm going to give it to you now just because it will help folks who might be thinking about video um, and this will help you have more confidence to do that video and to practice. Um, so basically any video that we produce here or any video that I even do Facebook Live for or anything like that, it goes through this system. So I get this idea and then every idea has to have one reason. I always say only have one reason. Don't have a bunch of reasons, just one. All the other stuff will come with it. And then okay. after that, you need to have a plan. We call it Yes Marketing. So yes stands for why is YouTube, or really that's where you're delivering your video from. So it might be YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, whatever you're using. Yeah. And then the E, email, um, how are you going to use it with your email marketing? And then okay. the S is social. And it's not just social media. Um, uh, personally, I like to be social. So it is, yes, it's social online, but it's social offline as well. So you're telling people to go to these sites that, you know, your video might be your homepage. Um, and then after you have a plan, I, I help people focus on their person or their product. And we go through some systems within that. And that's really all about finding confidence. You can help with, I know that. And then and finding um, character. So what character are you on camera? So some people, you know, I, I'm... I'm like this with my clients, but, you know, you might see me in a different light. Like, I'm going camping this weekend. I will not be like this when I'm camping. Really? <laughs> and, and then the last one that you're looking for is content. You know, is it going to be scripted or unscripted? And I know someone else said, you know, have those three bullet points. I, 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 I support that. All right. I am back, and I'm trying this again. I am sorry that we've had all this trouble. Um, this is the No Fear Video Show, and this is No Fear Video Live with Friends. I just did the first segment, and I had my friend Sharon Washington on. I had Sean Smith. I had Heather Michael Guard, and then Brandy Sales, and then my Wi-Fi just really cut out. So I still have one guest, and so he's going to have his own special show. Okay, Mike Gingrich is coming on, and... Um, I'm going to ask him that same question because he's part of this lineup. So, man, there is Mike. Let me see. I just saw him in a special show. Special show. How cool is that? And editing, I'm sure I can put it all together. Uh, I want you to be part of this. Sean's back. Yes. So sorry, Mike. I'm hoping this Wi-Fi is better. What do you think? Does this look better? Hey, so far, so good for me. Yeah, oh, so far, so good. Awesome. I'm just, I'm so sorry that that happened. That was just, oh, and you've got your bobble on. There he oh, is. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, we have, like, let him bobble. So tell us a little bit why we have these, right? These hey, this was a great and wonderful gift from um, Jessica Phillips of the Now Marketing Group and at uh, Social Media Week Lima that, was, uh, that we both spoke at. This was kind of our speaker gift there. And uh, so that was what, in uh, about the third week of June this year, um, Social Media Week Lima in Lima, Ohio. And we got to both share on different topics there. So we had a great time and she gave us these wonderful guests. That's awesome. Well, let me introduce you to our audience. You're gonna have your own whole life. Look at that. I mean, I just feel bad. I, I'm like, 
Brandy, can you introduce yourself? I went back, I reset the Wi-Fi. It felt really bad. That was not a good experience for Brandy. I'll have to get him back on. But let me introduce you to the audience that is here because we've got a bunch of people and some people might be watching it on the uh, on the re on the uh, review as well. The um, afterwards are on YouTube. So Mike Gingrich is president of Digital Hill, a web design and web software firm with offices in Indiana and Pennsylvania. He's a lover of online media and fitness. Mike hosts the Halftime Mike podcast, co-hosts the Magnet Marketers live Facebook show, and participates in triathlons on the weekend. Now, I knew that. Did you know that I used to do triathlons? Well, I, I know that um, you do marathons. I, I've seen that, that you've been doing that. And I, I was trying to remember. It, it doesn't surprise me at all. I think maybe we touch base on this at some point along the way. Um, yeah, it's kind of when I started out running in my early 20s, um, I did do a couple triathlons. I did the Olympic size, which was really fun. Uh, Sean says, wait, which one is the real Mike G? That's funny. It's a social media camp reunion. Yeah, I forgot. You're also a social media camp alum, right? That's Where right. That's right. Your social media camp. Yep. Um, so I, I did it two years in a row. Um, I think the last time was two years ago. So it's, it's about time for Sean to have you back, I think. There you go. I've been dropping hens left and right. Like, I want to go again. That was so awesome. I did a whale. I stayed a couple extra days, and I did a whale watching tour. And that was, like, one of the best experiences of my life. But anyway, how do you use video? I'll go ask real quick. How do you use video in your business? Yeah, yeah. So I think that, I mean, you, you had a lot of great tips shared already. I know we're in the, uh, you know, kind of a new version here. Um, but I think that, you know, one of the ways that we use video and that I recommend is to introduce your content. I think that we're all trying to create, you know, we're putting out new blog posts. Okay. So, so we're putting out good content there and, um, a, a simple way to get started with video is to, to use it, to introduce that content. Okay. So it's because video is working so well on platforms like Facebook, um, also on Instagram, so you can give a get a, a sneak peek of what your your newest blog post is about. So you know you've got the the eight points to this, and so you can talk about uh, the hey you know I've got this new post out, and here's point number one, and here's point number two. This is what it is. If you want the rest of those, then come on over to the blog post and take a look at that, and you know you can find out more. So that's that's a video introduction there um, with a with a live video you can do more of uh, talking about it or discussing it. So, you know, I, I, this, is the, this is the content. This is why it's important. Um, these, were the, these are the key points here. And then kind of interact with your audience. You know, what do you think about this? Or do you have questions on this? So it might be something that you do in, when you do it live. It's to do after you have published uh, the, the post and it's been out there. So it's had a little time for people to look at it. You have to do a little pre-communication about that. You want people to kind of be prepared and say, this was, you know, this is what the agenda is. We're, and you can go read it here and then we're going to interact on it. We're going to do it at this time. Okay. Awesome. So what if somebody is like, okay, that sounds great, Mike, but I don't even, I don't even know how to get started. Like what's your, what's your tip if somebody comes to you and says, well, I, I, I you know, everybody keeps telling me I need to do video. Um, I have a smartphone. What do I do? I mean, yeah. what kind yeah. of tips, what kind of obstacles have you seen and how have you, have you helped anybody or how did you get to do your yeah. first video? Like, what okay. was that like? So this is a perfect example. Last night, um, I was uh, having coffee with a guy and um, in, you know, in the offline world, he's a, he's a speaker. And when I looked at his Facebook page, it was mostly text posts. And I said, you want to showcase yourself as a speaker, we got to get you live on Facebook. And, and he said, okay. Uh, but he said, you know, kind of, he felt kind of bad. He's like, kind of dumb question. How do I do that? And, and then, so we kind of walked him through it. He, he pulled out his phone and, you know, I was like, okay, so, you know, you push, you know, you want to hit to, to create a post. And then he's like, you know, so I see the live there. Is it going to go live right now? And I was like, no. He's like, oh, he said, I've always been so scared to push that button. Ah. You know, so on Facebook, you, you hit the live button and then, you know, it kind of puts you in that, um, you know, backstage. So you can kind of see yourself, but it, it tells you to write a description of uh, what you're going to go live about. And um, so I'm just I'm sharing that just to make sure he didn't know that. And he was kind of frightened to push the button because he thought he was so, going to go live. So your tip is sh show and tell somebody like have somebody show you 
how to do this. And I, I agree. I mean, I've shown people that too when I pull it up and I go, look, you can get everything set up. And then even when you go, you push live, it has a countdown. So you can push live and then sit back, put that smile yep. on. And then yeah. that. that's awesome. So you did that for somebody. I'm sure he was appreciative. Yeah, yeah. So we walked him through that. And then, and then we kind of, uh, you know, we just, we just talked through. So he's a, he's a speaker. And then we talked through because I said, well, you're, you're posting kind of like inspirational nuggets here on your page. I, you know, and, and they're just text, though. I said, so, I, you know, we talked about how video, you know, gets a lot better reach on Facebook, that type of thing. And so uh, I basically said, hey, let's just take these and think about a way that you could kind of go live with them. And, you know, hey, here's today's topic. And this is this is what it is. And this is, you know, what it means to me, why I think it's important and, and spend time on that with people. That's just a format that he could use and um, get going. But but for him, it was just that fear of, you know, what happens when I push that button. So we had to walk through that. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I think my Wi-Fi is being spotty again. So I'm gonna wrap it up before we ruin this one as well. Um, thank you so much for being on. This will be go on YouTube. I will put them together. Um, and I appreciate you working with me um, and, and being willing to come in as a guest. Um, it's so nice to meet you in real life at Social Media yes. Market World and then Social Media Week Lima. It's nice to you know, solidify these friendships that you have online um, in real life. And it was kind of fun today that all five of my guests I had met. So um, that doesn't always happen. So that's right. awesome. Thanks for being part of the lineup. Thanks for your great information. I think show and tell is a wonderful tip. So if you are hesitant about using video and if you want to use, use um, the tip that Mike just gave, grab somebody that you know that is already doing video and say, show me on my phone. I want you to tell me how to do this. There we and go. And then use some of the other tips, practice, you know, which is what Heather Michael Gard said, practice a lot. And then, you know, um, Sean said, be passionate about the topic that you're sharing about. So right. you put all of those things together, then that's really how you can get um, better. Sharon just rejoined us She's back. She's here. So yeah, if we can put all of these tips together, we can maybe motivate, you know, one or two or even a few people to get started with video, that's what this is all about. The No Fear Video um, show is is to encourage people to get started. Video is not going to go away. Last year was year of the video. This year is year of the live video. You know, soon we'll be in virtual reality and augmented reality. I mean, there's going to be all kinds of stuff happening. You've got to get on video if you're a business owner. If you have an idea, if you are passionate about something, if you're sharing a cause, a business, a product, yourself, a service, you've got to get on video because it is the next best thing to meeting somebody in real life. So it is awesome. Um, Donna is here. She said, so true. She said, I recently wrote Donna. an article on this topic. Great tip. So that's all. That's awesome. Yes, we were. I'm just excited that I had this wealth of knowledge from these social media experts who are all using video to um, be part of this show. I'm going to wrap it up. If you're watching this um, on the replay, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Thank you, Mike, once again for coming in. And tune in next week. I've got five new guests coming in next week, and I will fix Wi-Fi. I might have to go to a different location in my house. But it will be fixed. Thank you so much for bearing with me. Bye, Mike. All right. Yep. See you later. All right. Thank you, everybody. It was so good that you were here. Um, I am so sorry that the technical issues were um, a little bit of a problem, but I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I appreciate you, my audience.